Hello brothers, I hope you are in good health. After previously we talked about the Chinese adventure scooter dying for a ADV150 that comes with a lot of sophisticated features compared to the Honda ADV150. Now we will compare all the specifications of this bike to find out is the Chinese adventure scooters better than the Japanese adventure scooter. So let's get started. In terms of the chassis, dying for a ADV150 get telescopic front suspension and dual shock absorber with sub tank at the rear. At this point, this Chinese scooter get the same suspension setup with the Japanese scooter Honda ADV150 that also comes with a telescopic front suspension and dual shock absorber with a sub tank at the rear. Then for the braking system, both the Japanese and the Chinese scooter get hydraulic disc brake at the front and the rear wheels complete with ABS feature. Not only the brakes, even the wheel size are also the same, measuring 14 inches at the front and 13 inches at the rear. In terms of its dimension, Dying Fury ADV150 has a seat height of 775mm, ground clearance of 165mm, and the weight is 150kg. Meanwhile, Honda ADV150 has a higher seat height that reaches 795mm, ground clearance is the same at 165mm and the weight is lighter at only 133kg. Then for the engine, Dang for ADV150 is powered by 150cc 4 valve single cylinder liquid coolant engine that produces a maximum power of 16.45 PS and maximum torque 14.6 N. But unfortunately, the Honda ADV150 that powered by 150cc SOHC 4 stroke single cylinder liquid coolant engine only get a maximum power of 14.5 PS and a maximum torque only 13.8 newtons, which means the Chinese scooter is better in terms of the engine performance. Not only that, even for an ADV150 has more fuel tank capacity, which is 9.3 liters, while the Honda ADV150 only get 8 liters. Then for the features, if the Honda ADV150 only get adjustable windscreen, full LED lightning system, full digital panel instrument cluster, keyless system, USB charging socket, and emergency stop signals, but dying for an ADV150 gets more than that. Besides also comes with an adjustable windscreen, full LED lightning system, keyless system, USB charging socket, and emergency stop signals like the ADV150. This bike is also equipped with dual camera at the front and the rear that integrated to 7 inches full color LCD screen on the dash, as well as a cigarette lighter. So that, in terms of the features, dying for a ADV150 is also superior to the Honda ADV150. Stay healthy brothers, hope you enjoyed this video.